Best PS4 Games, Part 2. 9 Bloodborne. From software's enigmatic and notoriously challenging Souls titles all hold critical and fan acclaim, but none are as stylistically interesting as the quasi-industrial era Bloodborne. It plays like an RPG set indelibly on a hidden difficulty mode with all the helpful text pop-ups removed, which is to say it requires more than a modicum of patience from the player. But that's the point, in Bloodborne, you get out what you put into it. Victory's all the more rewarding when you've watched your enemy, memorized his attack patterns, struck at the opportune moment and prevailed via the game's impeccable melee combat. 10 The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt Geralt didn't have the smoothest of entries to PS4, but after some heavy patching and a lot of angry words about visual downgrades, we're left with an RPG boasting tremendous scope and storytelling. Oh, and combat. And don't forget Gwent, the in-game card game. And there's the crafting to get stuck into. And the alchemy. You're rarely short of things to entertain yourself with in The Witcher 3's quasi-open world, then, and all the better that you're in. A universe that involves the supernatural without leaning on the same old Tolkien fantasy tropes. Invigorating stuff. 11 Overwatch. Our 2016 game of the year. Overwatch has without a doubt been one of our favorite games to come out of the last year. It's a classic team arena shooter from Blizzard that sets two six-person teams of wildly different characters against each other in a bright and cartoonish science fiction universe. Great graphics, tight maps, and a good roster of characters to enjoy playing. Overwatch is good old-fashioned fun and we thoroughly recommend it. 12 Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA V is also the best golf game, the best tennis sim, the undisputed virtual yoga champ, one of the best racers, it's even a pretty serviceable MMO. We're used to scale and scope from Grand Theft Auto, but what Trevor, Franklin, and Michael bring us is a staggeringly well-realized city scene from three entirely different perspectives. Trevor, the maniacal rampage killer whom we discover to be in all of us when we play a rock star game, Franklin, the classic rags to riches character with street smarts and the ability to pull off a bandana, and Michael, the troubled criminal with a dysfunctional family and a beer gut to show for his life of violence. However you play GTA V, a multiplayer muckabout, a story driven third person actioner, a flight sim, it reveals itself to be the best game on both this generation and the last. 13 Destiny 2 Taking the place of the original Destiny on this list is, of course, its sequel Destiny 2. With its original game, Bungie managed to create a huge AAA success as well as a cult hit. Now, however, it's opening up to the masses and anyone that felt like they couldn't jump on the Destiny bandwagon the first time shouldn't miss the opportunity to do so now. This huge online multiplayer shooter will reel you in with its universe, single-player story, satisfying gameplay and addictive online modes. 14 Battlefield 1 Battlefield 1's historical setting helps it to stand apart from the rest of the modern military shooters on the market with all new weapons, vehicles, and level designs that feel fresh and capture the chaos and brutality of war. The game offers a poignant and entertaining single-player campaign that sets a new standard for first-person shooter. Broken into six sections, each following a different character and front-line location, the campaign never feels dull or repetitive. The single-player campaign even feeds neatly into Battlefield 1's multiplayer mode which, while familiar, also benefits from the much-needed breadth of life that the change in setting gives. Graphically impressive, entertaining, and sometimes touching, Battlefield 1 is a return to form for the series. 15 Dishonored 2 Following the surprise 2012 hit Dishonored wasn't going to be an easy task, but Dishonored 2 has more than lived up to its expectations. Picking up 15 years after the events of the original, Dishonored 2 takes players back to the Victorian steampunk city of Dunwall. This time, though, 
you have the choice of whether or not you want to play as the original title's protagonist Corvo, or his equally skilled protege Emily. Dishonored 2 doesn't differ wildly from the first game, but there was nothing wrong with Dishonored in the first place. What we get is a vastly improved and close to perfected take on it. Anyone who likes their games filled with atmosphere, character, and a bit of wit and intelligence will find Dishonored 2 worth picking up. 16 Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 We do a lot of whining about Call of Duty. We roll our eyes and joke how there's a new one every year and how there's, like, no difference. We say all these things and yet every year we know how we're going to spend the month of November, fragging friends and family in the latest Call of Duty game. Black Ops 3 deserves a spot in your gaming armory for two reasons, it has awesome multiplayer, and there's almost no better way to blow off steam than going 10 kills in a row and calling in an airstrike on a team of people you've never met before but suddenly want to beat in the worst way imaginable, plus, it has one of the greatest game modes ever conceived, zombies. If shooting zombies straight in the face doesn't you feel like it's money well spent then nothing will.